As some of you may know, I was having difficulty trying to get that in the corner for the discovery. Ali Sport had a 15 week waiting list, so I had a look around and I found that AirTech do one. So I had a look at AirTech's one and I was going to get it delivered, but then I realised they're only just down the road. So I went all the way down there this morning, not all the way, it's 15 minutes down the road for me. So I took a 15 minute drive this morning down there and picked up a nice intercooler. So I'm really motivated today. It's just gone lunchtime. Do you know the reason why I'm really motivated? Because I've got loads done this morning. And when you get loads done, it just motivates you more. And when you've done loads, and then you look at the time, and it's only like half past 11 in the morning, and you've done like shit loads, that just motivates you even more. Now I'm just on a roll, I'm just gonna go poof, get it all done. Trouble is it's raining outside, so I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film. But we can go and have a look at this intercooler. It's in the back of the van. Oh <laughs> yes, look at that. So we unwrap this here and now. It's gonna be a little bit tricky because we're still in the back of the van and it's a bit cramped. But I think we should be able to unwrap it. We've got our little booklet here of fitting instructions. We'll get rid of them. We won't get rid of them, but we'll use them. But uh, I'm still fairly certain it's gonna be fairly easy to Fit it. And there we go. A nice AirTech intercooler. Got a nice little AirTech sticker on the top. This is supposed to fit on all the standard and original brackets brilliant let's go and put it in I've just taken undone this little fitting guide so that uh, well I just wanted to see what it says and it literally is a fitting guide and it uh, just basically just <laughs> tells you to put the intercooler in it says let's have a look let's get around here so we can have a look it says Land Rover Discovery 2 AirTech Intercooler Fitting Guide. Focus, please. Thank you. Remove standard intercooler. Oh, I didn't know I had to do that. Place new AirTech Intercooler into radiator mounting location and bolt to radiator with supplied M8 dome head bolts. Ah, really? Okay. Please note, pictures are from prototype kit fitted. Wonderful. Secure intercooler to body using supplied polyurethane bushes and tighten using the supplied M8 nuts and bolts. Brilliant. There we go. And that's what it will look like. He's got the same tyres as me as well. Wunderbar. So that literally is a fitting guide. So it's not instructions on how to do it. If you ain't very comfortable doing it, then you're going to have to look for yourself. Or try and find some advice somewhere else. But hopefully, it shouldn't be too hard. Fitting an intercooler should go in the straight, ordinary, where the old one was. And you can see by that picture, all it is, is bolted into the, onto the radiator and then bolted onto the frame. Or subframe, or whatever you want to call it. You've got them ones bolted on the radiator up there, and them ones go on the frame. Should be fairly straightforward. Right, so. It's finally out. It's nothing near as straightforward as they make it seem from their little pictures or whatever. But you have to remove that little bracket there, what holds the aircon rad in, and it also goes onto the intercooler because the intercooler is in between here. And you've got another bracket on the other side. You've got to take the battery out. You've got to take the air box out. You've got to take the horn from both sides out to get to the bolts but there we go that's the old intercooler and there's our new one I've got a funny feeling it's going to be a bastard to fit if it fits right we've got a bit of a problem it doesn't seem to fit with the aircon rad there that's in the way and you put them them brackets are in there it just won't fit straight up tight against the aircon rad 
and it just won't fit. So, just phoned up AirTech and they said, well, try and get it over to us and uh, we'll have a look at it because they want to develop it so that it fits with aircon obviously so they can sell it say that it fits with aircon I didn't think it would do because everyone that I've spoken to that has it they say it didn't fit with aircon the air radiator was in the way but I spoke to AirTech and they said it will fit but it doesn't so I'm going to put the old um, intercooler back on now and try and get it up to them and they're going to have a look at it and see if they can modify it to make it fit so it's back, I was going to film getting it back, going to pick it up and everything, but it was in such a rush I didn't get a chance. But it's back, I've just been on a little drive, and it definitely drives a lot better. You can see the new intercooler in there, where they've, looks like they've uh, had to redo some of them brackets down there. Now they told me what they had to do, oh look they've even put me new bolts in, they put me some new bolts in there. I was missing those before. They put me new bolts in the one down there as well. Oh, that was nice of them, wasn't it? That was nice of them. So, yeah. I can't really see a lot. See what they've done down there. That's the bit more there. I can't really see it. Put the aircon out of the way. You can't really see anything. But I can tell you, it definitely drives a lot better than what it did. Yeah, I can't see. Uh, I'll have to take that bit off another day. And we'll have a look at it another day and we'll have a look at the top of it. But it's all been redesigned, it's all been redone. I've got it back. And uh, this is the first drive I've had on it. Obviously I picked it up, and now I'm here. So what happened was, because it didn't fit, it didn't, they didn't know that different cars were different. They thought, they, they got a, they had, I think they pulled, they, the one they did the development on was a, a manual one, but it had no air conditioning. And they were assured that the air conditioning would be, much of air conditioning would be fine, nothing would be in the way. It turns out that that's wrong. I've got air conditioning. And as you saw before, the radiator was completely in the way, completely blocking it. Um, you know, it, the brackets were all wrong, everything was wrong. So they've had the car for two weeks, they redesigned everything. They took all the brackets out, um, put all new brackets on, and redesigned the whole intercooler pretty much to fit with the aircon. So they were pretty grateful for me, to me, for, for, for helping them do it, you know, for lending them the car. But I'm more grateful because I've been able to help them develop a part of, you know, I've, I've helped them develop it. You know, I still had to pay for it, but they fitted it for free. Um, you know, so pretty much it's been a very good result. And I've got the Nanocon plugged in, looking at the temperatures, and it's been pretty good. So yeah, I've got the Nanocon plugged in. I mean, I've been sitting here for a good sort of half an hour now. Not that it's ever going to have a look at that. There we go. I've been sitting here for a good half an hour now, so you'd expect that intake temperature there to be about 26.2. But as I'm driving along, even if I'm doing sort of, um, even if I'm driving along, pulling pretty hard, temperatures going right down. They went down to nearly 17 degrees. So it's really good so far. The real test will be if I'm going up a hill or something like that, and it's really working hard. But so what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna, what I've got to do now is I've got to take the, a map file off of it, get a map file, um, so I can send that off, because I'm gonna get a map from, I think, in the end, move this over here, because I don't know whether the wind's gonna cut in there or not. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get a map, and I'm gonna put the map on myself, um, with the Nanocom, because I don't, I don't like rolling roads, and I don't wanna put this engine on a rolling road and have it, stressing uh, so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna flash it with a nanocom I think I'm gonna go to a live tuning because um, I've, I've, I've inquired with a few companies um, storm tuning and all of those um, but it seems a live tuning is probably gonna be the best one and they've got a stage four and they reckon they reckon with the stuff that I've got done to this which is very minimal compared to some people but they reckon they can do a stage four on it um, well, bearing in mind the stage 2 is 190 horsepower 
so I don't know what the hell stage four is going to be. I'm not after power. I just want a bit of extra grunt. But I'm going to. I'm, I'm in contact with them. Um, so they want a copy of the map file that I've already got, and they want a few other details about the car, and an Anocom ID, obviously. Um, then they can just send me over the map file. So then I'll better just flash it on myself, and away we go. They're going to do a few adjustments to it, which you're going to see on the first video I see of it, because I'm going to have a few little adjustments done to my map, because uh, I'm different to most people, and I like a few different things. But yeah, I'm pleased it's back. Um, Air take of the nuts. They're really good, really helpful people. I couldn't fault them. Couldn't fault them. As soon as I rang up and I said it don't fit, they went, I'll oh, bring it down. We'll have a look. They had a look. And they said, oh, well, we're going to have to redesign it. Can we borrow your car? I said, yes, no problem. You can borrow the car. And then they kept ringing me up, giving me updates of what they were doing and what they found. In the end, it ended up being roughly about two weeks. Um, but that's no problem. I mean, they, they had to redesign everything. They had to redesign the whole intercooler. So if you've bought an intercooler from AirTech, then you notice they only did one intercooler, not an automatic or a manual uh, and a one with aircon and a one without or whatever. Now they're going to do that. They're going to do an automatic one probably, because I know they had an auto automatic as well. They're probably going to do an automatic one, um, one with aircon and probably one without. I don't know how they're going to work that one. But, but if you've got an oil cooler, you need to have the automatic uh, automatic intercooler anyway, because it gets in the way. Um, but yeah, I'm over the moon at the moment, because, well, it's just brilliant. So there's going to be more videos to come. So if you want to see more videos on this car, and and the, and the and that, well, obviously there's going to be a video when I flash it and all, what is it, what, what my review or why my review is going to be of the, having the map and what I think. Um, but if you want to keep the keep keeping you know keep in tune with the the series as we, as as it is I suppose on this car then you know every now and again it'll be popping up. So fantastic! I'm over the moon. Brilliant.